This is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I am taking a look at the ESV Study Bible Heirloom Edition. And so here's, here's what we've got. Let's see, it's um, 20,000 notes, 80,000 cross-references, 50-plus articles, 240 full-color maps, extensive concordance, goat skin cover, European Bible paper, art gilt, full ribbon markers, lifetime guarantee, nice Bible. Comes in a nice sturdy case, two-piece box, looks really nice. This thing is wrapped in velvet. Anytime you wrap a Bible in velvet, <laughs> that's nice. That is that is just nice. And then inside we have this little page. If I can get the page up. Well, I'll show you here. Just talks about the Bible, thanking you for purchase. 80th anniversary and all that. So let's look what we got here. We have the the ESV study Bible. It is about 10 by 7 by 2 and a quarter and a little over 4 pounds. So it's a, it's a big heavy Bible. It's, it's good goat skin. This is thick leather with leather liner. I'm not sure what the leather is. I did ask if it's calf skin. It's not calf skin, but I'm not sure what it is. But it does have the gilt line. Nice, um, nice grain perimeter stitch. One, two, three, four spine ribs. Gold printed on the on the spine. And there's the art gilt. Looks really good. See gold and brown head tail bands. And there's our four ribbons. Black and then tan. Two shades of brown. They're a little bit short. But you can pull them to the side. To the edge. Just barely. You can just barely pull them to the edge. I'd like to see them just a little bit larger. A little bit longer. So this is edge lined. And the tab is a little stiff out of the box, but it's not not too bad. And then we have the uh, presentation page, marriages, births, adoptions, and deaths. Now this is 31 GSM paper, European paper. It does have a little bit of show through. It's a little bit more show through than I like. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Let's go to the back before we do anything else. Go to the back. This gives us the information. Typeface is lexicon. Uh, it's a nine point font. The paper is 31 GSM Thin Coat Plus. It is made in Italy by Lego and it is bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. So made in Italy, bound in the Netherlands. Nice leather. The uh, art gilt, when you open it up, has a little bit of a salmon look. And then there's our layout. Single column, paragraph layout. It has about 14 to 16 words across, which is a little bit too much for my taste for, for reading. But the paper, it has references in the center column. So the... By doing that, the uh, the text is on the flatter part of the page most of the time. And it's a thick Bible, so you're going to have parts of it that's not quite so um, so flat. But most of the time, I don't have any issues reading it. It does have a, a generous leading, so it looks really nice. This is a black letter text. Let's start at the front and just go through and see what we've got here. Yeah, over here we can see it. So it goes through our table of contents, showing what we have, illustrations, introduction to the ESV Study Bible. This takes you through all the different features of the Bible, talk about the purpose and the vision, divine words, merely human, and merely human words, purpose of the ESV Study Bible notes. I still might be zoomed in, just zoomed out just a little bit too much understanding and teaching God's Word, doctrinal perspective, and this is Reformed, but it is from uh, something like 90 different um, denominations, if I'm remembering correctly. It tells in there. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, additional content, talking about the different types of articles, uh, other features, 200 full-color maps in the text, 40 illustrations, 200 charts, and then talks about the cross-reference system, the ESV itself, 
And Gold Invasion, there's your contributors. Paper is really easy to turn. It's not coated, but it's not rough textured either. I don't have any issues turning this paper. This is some of the easiest paper to turn that I've used. I like paper that's easy to turn. I like to pick paper up and just rub it together like that, and, and it just comes apart. This is easy to deal with, really easy. And then the highlights are in the, the greenish tans that um, that's typical of Crossway. And now they have a lot of a lot of good good quality articles. The ESV Study Bible has some of my favorite articles about the Bible itself. Now they do have their doctrine. They did, so you know this is Crossway's um, doctrinal perspective, um, and that's going to include you know their theology. But uh, it is well written. And it's, and it's good information for study. So we have Theology of the Old Testament. Date of the Exodus. Introduction to the Pentateuch. Each major section has an introduction. And each book, of course, has an introduction. And these introductions are extremely um, deep. They're, they're, there's a lot of depth to them. It covers author, title, and date. Place in the Pentateuch, where this book fits in the Pentateuch. Arrangement of the book. A table. Let's see. Theme. Key themes. Lots of little charts and things. History of, in, of Salvation Summary. Genesis and History. Genesis and Science. A really good article. Shows you how the Bible actually backs up. The Bible's not a scientific book, but the science that it does include is accurate, and it shows you that. Reading Genesis in the 21st century. Literary features, and then a, a detailed outline. Good map. That's the types of maps that you're going to find throughout. And then the text. Now, we have our single column with the, the text at the top, with references in the inner margin, and then notes at, at the bottom of the page. So, um, and it's presented in two columns. This is nine point font. That's about a seven point in that range. It looks a little smaller than that to me. I would guess it quite a bit smaller. Um, the verse numbers are decently dark. So if I can zoom in to show. They're, they're a little bit bold. They're not fully bold, but maybe they're semi-bold. And they stand out just enough so that when you're searching for something, you can find it fairly easy. Translation footnotes are under the text. Across the top, we have the uh, page number in the center and the book name with chapter number and verse number in the outer corner. If I can bring it in where you can see it where I'm pointing. Nice study Bible. It's got a lot of information, a lot of detail. Lots of good detail. Let's zoom back out. I wouldn't mind if the paper was a little bit more opaque. You can see how this tab is a little bit stiff out of the box. Now that will break in, I think. It has no issues staying open. It just doesn't want to stay flat. I like a flat. So there's more in-text maps. Lots of good charts. This is a good companion to the um, archaeology study Bible. Now this does have some archaeology in it, but it doesn't take the place of the archaeology study Bible. They didn't mean for them to compete with each other. They meant for them to focus on what they focus on. And this is more, more than anything focused on uh, basic theology and covering the, the context of the text. It does, it does a really good job. This is one of my favorite study Bibles. And this is a good version of it. Lots of illustrations. Nice color. Lots of illustrations of objects and things. Let's see what we got here. Let's move on to the center between between the testaments. I think the idea of this is something like 20 volumes worth of material. See the, the time between the testaments. And so it covers that historical area very well. Good chart here. <clears throat> Herodian dynasty, Roman Empire, and the Greco Roman world at the time of the New Testament. 
covers that really well. A lot of, a lot of good quality stuff here. Jewish groups at the time of the New Testament. And then the New Testament. And just like the Old Testament started with theology of the Old Testament, this starts with theology in the New Testament. Good charts. Nice timeline. The date of Jesus' crucifixion. Covers that really well. Reading the Gospels and Acts. And then we start the New Testament. And just like... The, uh, all the other books back here, we're going to have some really good detail, really good charts, really good illustrations. Some of the, some of the ribbons. I think these are Beresford's. I'm not really sure. If they're not, they're just like Beresford's. They're a little bit short, though. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind if they were a little bit thicker. One of the illustrations. This is a really good study Bible. Really good quality notes. All right, so let's get back here. Let's look at Revelation. Book of Revelation. Typically, books of uh, let's see Bibles that use that uh, have a lot of detail about Revelation. A lot of times, they'll cover the different types of of, of ways that the book is presented or understood or interpreted, and this does have some some different types of interpretation. Uh, so we have. Um, the visions, let's see, historical school, um, historical premillennialism, dispensational, premillennialism, partial preterist. So it does cover a, quite a bit. Idealist, classical, premillennialist, pre-tribulational, premillennialism. So it does cover quite a few of the different points of view. Postmillennialism and amillennialism. And then we get into our notes. Charts of the Seven Churches. Some more charts there. Let's see what we got. Let's get them back to the back here. No, no drawings of the beast or anything like that. That would be cool. Articles and resources. God's plan of salvation. And again, that's you know from their point of view. Biblical doctrine and overview. This is the basic doctrines that they present. And then we're getting into my favorite part back here. And once we get into that, they'll, they'll mostly be archaeology. You see biblical ethics. There's a lot of these little articles back here. Lots of them. And they're detailed. You can see how much detail is in these. A lot of detail there. Cover a lot of topics like Capital punishment, there's one on homosexuality, civil government, divorce and remarriage, marriage and sexual morality, bioethics, beginning of life and abortion, biblical ethics, introduction. A lot of, a lot of good information here. War, lying and telling the truth, racial discrimination, stewardship. Seeing a lot of these things are things that that um, is is more non-denominational or widely accepted within different denominations. Now, this is my favorite part: interpreting the Bible. This study Bible has some of the best information about interpreting Scripture and 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 presenting the Bible as the Word of God. So it covers the different ways that it's interpreted and the different things. Not everything in the Bible is interpreted the same way. Reading the Bible. Because some of it is figurative, some of it is not. Reading the Bible for personal application. Preaching in public worship. The canon of scripture. I like that they include this because it, it shows that this is the word of God. It's not just man's words. God told man what, what to write down. That's exactly what they did. The canon of the New Testament. The Apocrypha. Reliability of, of Bible manuscripts. You see why this is some of my favorite articles. Archaeology in the Bible. Now, it does do a quick overview of archaeology, but not to the depth of the archaeology study Bible. That's actually a... a it focuses you know, entirely on archaeology, and, and I recommend both Bibles. The original languages of the Bible covers them really well. It gives you tables uh, showing you 
the the languages themselves, the letters, Greek and how it works. Really good stuff there. Septuagint. How the New Testament quotes and interprets the Old Testament. And then there's some Old Testament passages in the New Testament. The Bible in Christianity. Let's skip through some of this here. History of Salvation in the Old Testament. And then we get into the concordance. This is a good concordance. A lot of information in here. Now we have a couple of this is the reason I went back. We have a couple of um, indexes to the charts and the diagrams and the maps. This is the stuff that's in the text itself. And then the concordance is presented in three columns. And this does include names, proper names. So you'll find people in here. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a pretty decent concordance. Let's see how many, let's see how many verses we have for, for God. If I can remember my alphabet, that's the hard part. So we have about from here to here. So we're looking at, bring that up here. We're looking at about two thirds of a column for God. There, I can zoom in just a little bit, give you an idea of what some of that looks like. And then we have a reading plan. The reading plan gives you four readings per day. And it covers Psalms and Wisdom Literature, the Pentateuch and History of Israel, Chronicles and Prophets, and Gospels and Epistles. And then it gives you the, the month with the day and then the reading. So four readings and you can slow down and take that in two years if you wanted to. And then we have Tables, Woods, and Measures. And then the maps. Now the maps are on the thick, semi-glossy paper. And it uses the, uh, the, the typical crossway um, subdued colors, not quite so bright colors. Now, they don't show a uh, Red Sea crossing so much. So you, here, they show here possibly. They show a few possible routes. I haven't seen a good map yet that really shows a good Red Sea crossing correct. And, you know, it's, it's debated as to exactly where it is, but still. I would like to see some other options, but these overall these are good maps. A lot of them. Let's see, fifteen I think there I think it is fifteen maps, and then the end sheets in the back to build structure. So there we go, the goat skin edition, the heirloom edition of the Crossway ESV Study Bible. The text itself could be a touch darker in my opinion, but it's it's dark enough. You know, it's not. I wouldn't complain about that. It's just an observation. And well, here's why I'm saying this. Let me see. Let's compare to another heirloom edition. Here is the the um, legacy single column legacy. Footprint is about the same. Text size is about the same. And you can tell this paper is a little bit more opaque. Uh, although it's not overly opaque, you can still see through. But this has a smoother feel to it than this does. This feels more elegant than this does. Not that this is, this doesn't feel like cheap paper at all. This is not the same Chinese paper that you find in the standard study Bible. It's just not as elegant as this paper. And the, the result is that this one has possibly a slightly larger font, but this one has a, a slightly darker font than this. So to me, this actually looks better. This is more... This is better for reading. This is a more readable text. Not that this isn't a readable text. But you can see there. Maybe that'll maybe that'll help. You can see there. But they both do have the same footprint. Or close to it. Close to the same footprint. The study Bible's wider. But you know, we'll set that aside. That's a nice Bible. So, heirloom edition of the ESV Study Bible. Makes an excellent gift. I did receive this in exchange for an honest review. And I will place some uh, links in the, in the notes so that you can see more detail about this on BibleBuyingGuide.com. 
and uh, I'll place a few links where you can buy it. Thanks for watching.